everyone, and welcome back to What, What a, a New. If you are new to the show, wait, do that again. I look crazy. <laughs> I was doing this. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is JP. Our yes, new. that is me. My friend, who is also a friend. <laughs> He's actually married now. Yay! Guys, congratulations! Call me Mr. Friend. Park. He's married now. What do you mean? You were already Mr. Your wife uh, that became a Mr. Is it? Oh, you're right. I think. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But yeah, so he had his wedding on Sunday. It was beautiful. His uh, bride was a beautiful princess. Yeah, she and, looks um, so beautiful. Yeah. Apparently, he cried when she was walking down the aisle. <laughs> But yeah, so giving film, up our honeymoon just to review these products. No, okay, we're not that cruel. <laughs> This is the third episode. Wow. You must be feeling not as noob lately. What a less of a noob. Do you feel less of a noob? A I do, I do. So um, today we are actually doing another category that he doesn't know much about. Mm -hmm. What is it? Uh, uh, two thousand years later. Serums! Mm. Facial serums! Yay! Okay, so everyone who's into K-beauty knows what serums are. There's so many different functions. But today we're going to focus on hydration and moisture serums. I asked my subscribers and most people wanted to find out like the best hydrating and moisturizing ones. Something you would agree that I need a lot of? Yes, yes, yes. That's New Zealand for yes, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> so quiet. <laughs> okay, so we're going to be testing the top serums. So we gathered the data of the highest selling serums across very popular Korean beauty stores. I also added from the, that list, there were some things that I thought were missing. So I put them in there because may, maybe they're not selling it at those websites. And then we finally came down to 37 products. Better than 50 something. So. You know, to be honest, our first episode, mm -hmm. the whole video was like 12 minutes. Yeah, I was but... shocked. <laughs> When I saw, because before I watched it, I just saw how long it was. I was like, there's no way. <laughs> They put everything in 13 right? minutes. But it worked. It I was, was like, like, wow. We filmed for like five hours. Yeah. That's Props to the editing team. But today, we're not going to take that long to do it because we're just going to be doing one criteria this time. Actually, two. So I asked my subscribers what they look for in their favorite hydrating and moisturizing serums. And what we came down to were two basic things. Of course, it's ingredients like no parabens, no harsh alcohols, but we've already taken that out. I'm going to be looking at if there's any artificial fragrances or very sensitizing essential oils. So that's like the next. If um, parabens and harsh alcohols are like the basics, most products don't even have them anyway but we're going to be checking the ingredients list and i will be doing that then passing it over to you and you will be doing the texture test what's the texture test so you're going to be putting it on your skin uh -huh. and everyone everyone that i asked said that they simply just don't want stickiness in their serums that's easy to test i guess yeah you're just going to try it out on your skin mm -hmm. pat it in set it in and see if it leaves like a gloopy like unpleasant sticky feeling then it's not going to make it in the short list okay so if i find any like really sticky ones in there i'm gonna be like jp <laughs> you won't <laughs> even if it's like a little sticky maybe just leave it in there and i'll take that off if it's like overly sticky that's what we don't want. overly sticky i imagine like what you don't my want skin, on your skin literally sticks to my finger literally there are some serums that are like that let's do this short listing together are you guys ready First one, the Cosrx Triple Hyaluronic Moisture Ample, one of my absolute favorites. Oh, me too. And this one has a really short ingredients list. It's got like literally just like 15 ingredients or something, and there's nothing bad in here. It's got hyaluronic acid, nothing glycerin, bad, huh? we'll see about carboma. That. But yeah, you can definitely start off with this one and see what you think. My first impression. I really like <laughs> these kind of packaging. I really like glass bottles. Oh, yeah. The frosted yeah. thing is really I nice I love too. frosted, whatever this is called. You know what? Glass bottles keep ingredients fresh. So oh. it's the most ideal bottle packaging for skincare. Oh, that makes sense. Okay, so All like right. take the dropper out, squeeze. Here we go. Is this your first serum? Yeah. Ever? Ever. <gasps> JP's first ever serum. The I can't believe it, you've never used this serum. Is it one drop? A little more. Yeah. It's like slow motion. But, oh. Are we gonna take six hours? <laughs> <laughs> Is that enough? <laughs> it might be a, a bit much. Set it in. It's nice. You like it? Yeah. Okay, no stickiness. It's gone. It's like literally disappeared into his Sahara Ma skin. The desert, the, <laughs> the desert, desert has <laughs> literally <laughs> dried it up. <laughs> the desert skin has absorbed all of the serum. I 
I've never seen that happening before, man. You put so much on as well, it's like just completely disappeared. So this is not sticky, right? Yeah, nothing. All right, so this is a good one. <laughs> yep. You said it's one of your favorite too, right? It is. It's got the hyaluronic in there, so it's really good for the hydration and moisture. Mm. Okay, the next one is also another Cosrx one, a very good ingredients list. Why am I advertising these products already? You can give this one a go and see what you think of it. Okay. No fragrance, no essential oils, no alcohols, parabens. How did it This feel? is similar. Similar, yep. You don't like the smell? So far, How's they've the all smell? been smelling kind of weird to me. No what, smell. The smell that Jen would say is a nice, neutral, scentless smell. Okay, so to teach you, the mm. artificial fragrance covers the smells of the raw ingredients. Mm. You know, obviously raw ingredients have their own scent as well, like slight scent. Mm -hmm. That's what usually companies try to cover with, with the artificial ink fragrance. Mm -hmm. But fragrance contains so many toxic things that are causing fertility, can cause cancer, wow. um, endocrine disrupting and they can hide a lot of ingredients in the word fragrance so that's why you want to avoid it well this is very similar to the one before so it's a pass okay good you're not just saying that right nope so we've got two that have passed so far the cosrx ones and next one is also one that i have personally chosen because it wasn't in the list and i think it's because this one doesn't sell in korean physical stores local koreans haven't discovered it but more global people have discovered it so yeah it's my personal favorite for many years the plant base they actually make it so easy to look at the ingredients because they actually specify no added <laughs> phenoxyethanol paraben pigment fragrance benzophenone mineral oils and there's like the list goes on and on and on and on so it says like None of that. So ingredients list passes already. So you can only buy this online? I don't know. I haven't found it anywhere physically in Whoa, Korea. Wow, it's so pretty. Pretty. Pass. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, how does this work? Yeah, Whoa, it automatically does it button. as you open up. So it uses like the pressure or something as you close it That's it so automatically cool. sucks it up oh whoa yeah you see mm. that all of their serums look like that that's so cool i've gone through a couple of bottles of this one so it's actually one of my personal favorite hyaluronic acids but we'll see what jp thinks this is smooth i don't see how this can get more st stickier is fragrance, fragrance? They all smell the same. Like bad. To me, it's bad. As long as it's not sticky, it's making it. Okay. Good? Okay. Yep. <gasps> this is a humongous list of product uh, ingredients. Wow, it's literally just text on that side of the box. Real Hyal Hyaluronic Blue Ampoule, and I haven't tried this one. Why am I testing this one? <laughs> <laughs> Very watery. Okay, not sticky at all. I can tell straight away. It's like well, super slippery. Well, this is the most Whoa. watery one. It's really slippery, right? Yeah. This is what snail products feel like. So this has panthenol, aloe, ginseng berry extract, centella asiatic car. This is the lightest one. Is it? Yeah, I, I think, think so. it's a little sticky. Is it not sticky for you? Ah, oh, it's because your Sahara skin drank it up. No, well, actually, isn't it a little sticky? Okay, let me yeah, just it is a little sticky. Compared to the other ones? Because mm -hmm. I haven't been putting it but on. But applying it was really smooth. Yeah, applying it was like super slippery, but afterwards it's kind of sticky. All right, our first <gasps> is it non-pass. Oh, okay. But in terms of ingredients, like there was nothing bad in there. So that one's a fail because it's a little sticky. Okay, next one is Revectin Skin Essentials Aqua Activating Serum. This one has absolutely nothing in it that is alarming to me, and it has a relatively short ingredients list, and it's got niacinamide, sodium hyaluronate. This one is like a pump. Mm -hmm. Whoa, this is thick. Yeah, so this one's a, like a very moisturizing mm -hmm. one for when you want like extra protection. It's got the niacinamide, so it's a little bit of a step up from just hyaluronic acid. So there's a difference between feeling moisturized and feeling sticky. Sticky feels a little unpleasant. Mm. Moisturized just feels like it's kind of protecting the skin. This is very texture. moisturizing. Moisturizing? Yeah, I like this one. I feel like you need this for your skin. All right then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Revectin, I'm taking you home. Next one is Toridin's Dive In Serum. I've never tried this brand, never heard of it. Oh, it says number dive one, in. two consecutive years on wow. Pahe. Let's dive in. Okay, Ooh. it says on the packaging, and no mineral oil, no isopropyl alcohol, no benzophenone, <laughs> etc, etc, etc. Are you rapping right now? But yeah, this has already passed the ingredients test. There are no essential oils either. What scent do you It's like really smell? light. I don't know how to describe it. Uh, this is scentless. This is the smell of mm. the ingredients. Oh, it's a bit stickyish. Yeah, it's a little sticky. Ingredients passes though. Would you say this kind of stickiness is Let's just see. enough for it to not pass? It's like taking a long time to absorb. Yeah, for me, this is um, not a pleasant one. Mm. I'm sorry. I agree that it's stickier than these. Mm. Mm -hmm. Let's I'm not sorry. dive in with this. <laughs> 
Maybe Koreans don't mind their skin being sticky. That's weird. Because this was like a top in Hwaeho for two years in Korea. Mm. And it's one of the best selling ones in um, Should we all try the it again? No, but we're doing it according to our international viewers standard mm. of not being sticky on the skin. Next up is one that I cannot try because it contains propolis and I'm nursing, so I have to avoid it. So it's totally up to you, bro. I'm nursing no. also. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Cut that out. <laughs> So this one is the Skin Food Royal Honey Propolis Enrich Essence. This one has to smell good, right? Yeah, it looks like that. Oh, it looks, looks like Probably, actual I'm guessing it'll honey. smell like Convenience list. Oh wait, this has a lot of tangerine peel oil, lemon Let's peel oil. Let's go, I love that. No, but that wouldn't pass the ingredients list. JP's trying it anyway, yeah. even though it hasn't passed the ingredients because he thinks it's going to smell nice. Oh, yes. I guess it smells nice. Yeah. Royal Jelly Extract, 5%. Royal. Propolis Extract, 15%, which is quite a lot. Honey Extract, 5%. Anyone nursing, pregnant, avoid this one. <laughs> it's got like 10 different oils in it. So if you are sensitive to oils, this one is not going to pass. This yeah, not, um, rosemary leaf oil is known to be something that causes sensitivity. So this one would not pass the ingredients list. But JP still tried it and he's saying it's not sticky. It's so not what sticky. do we do? It's pretty smooth. But what do we do? Ingredients list. It didn't I'm pass sorry. the ingredients. But it's nice to know that it has a nice texture. Yeah. Oh, I want to try it. The Jumiso Super Soothing Sika and Aloe oh, Facial what a, Serum. What a cute font. Jumiso. <laughs> yeah, it is cute. Oh, I didn't realize this one has sunflower seed oil, japonica seed oil, macadamia seed oil, but none of them are sensitizing ones. I think one is okay to pass for ingredients wise. If there's one that's a moderate hazard, I'll still hand it over to you. I like this packaging. It's very cute. The color reminds me of melons and limes. Mm, it looks yummy. Yeah. So I actually use this regularly when my skin's feeling irritated because it really feels soothing. And it's got soybean ferment extract in it and hyaluronic acids. One of the top ingredients, actually the first ingredient is not water, it's Centella Asiatica. Aloe Barbadensis Leaf Extract as a second one, which is pretty good. You know if it's at the top of the ingredients list, it means it has that the most. What are your thoughts, Nick? <sighs> it's a pass. I was hoping I could be like, nope, Jen's oh. recommendation is not good. Why did you sigh? <laughs> <sighs> it passes. You want to be able passes. to catch something, huh? It passes. Catch something that Jen has... Um... And there's a vegan label on it. Oh, does it? Mm -hmm. Jimmy still has a lot of good products. Here, I haven't tried this one. That looks very Manual big. Bifida Biome Ample Double. Oh, this looks like it's going to be pretty heavy because it's an ample. What does ample mean? Ample is something that has like a higher concentration of the like key ingredients. Mm -hmm. What is this? It's like a kit. Whoa. I've only tried their products for like baby Minds products. Reminds me of Manual. Nutella. <laughs> what? It's a brown bottle with white label. I think it reminds me of like caramel. So this one is from the Hwaihe list, which means it's a local Korean favorite. Are these all the same? No. This is a toner, an ample. So we just need to try one of them. Okay. It's just all a right. kit that sells two oh. with a mask. Here we go. Yep. No parabens, no artificial fragrance. It's got a lot of... Um, it applies very well. Sangbun. It's got a lot of fermented extract ingredients. Oh, I feel like this one's really good. Ooh, like right away, thick. I can tell it's... Really, mm. It feels really light. Mm. Oh, it's really watery. Yeah. It feels like it's lighter than water almost. Like. Okay. okay, maybe not. Let's, yeah, let's, maybe not. let's not take it that far, Jen. <laughs> <laughs> lighter than no, water. But the slipperiness of it sometimes makes you feel like that. Mm. You know how it's like super slippery? Mm -hmm. I like Pass. this one. Yep. Good job. What's this? Ma Manyo. Is it Manyo? Manyo. Manyo. Do you want to take one? So I got two in there. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Totally fits in my hey, pocket. Hey, but it's kind of sticky afterwards. Isn't it sticky? Mine did a little bit. Is this what true settling is? That's why you gotta let it settle. Yeah, I don't like it. It's like sticky. It feels like I want to wash my hands. I won't pass it. Okay, I'm gonna re-roll. I'm gonna be like, psych? Psych? <laughs> psych, psych? Change that mind. Oops. <laughs> Double psych? Uh, we're gonna think about that again. All right, we're gonna take back our pass for this one because you know that sticky feeling after you work out and you're sweaty? Oh, it does feel like that. And then this, your sweat dries and your oh skin. Oh my you know god, that that's feeling? such a good example. Yeah, see? That's literally yeah, how it feels. That's exactly how it feels. Oh. It's not Sorry. as sticky yeah. as, as this one though. Next one is um, one that I've personally injected in here as well because this is actually a new-ish brand that people don't really know about but I've tried it and I thought it was good. So let's see if you like it. It is the 
Skin 1004 Madagascar Centella Ampoule. So it's like a perfume box. They actually oh. source the Centella Asiatica from Madagascar. So in terms of ingredients, it passes the list. I'm going to look this one up just in case. This is very watery right off the bat. This is probably the most watery one we've had so far. Yeah, it's actually 100% Centella. It's got nothing else in it. It's Centella. It's just like the one ingredient there. I don't like the feeling on my fingers, but on here it's fine. Oh, let me see. How does it feel on your skin though? Very smooth. Is it because you're Sahara? Oh, I think I know what you mean. I think it's okay. Yeah, I it's would It's not pass like this. the smoothest, Yeah. but it's just Centella Asiatica. That's what it feels like on the skin, obviously, huh? Okay, that one passes. Next is, uh, I love this brand, the Real Barrier Aqua Soothing Ampoule. Let's see. This one has a couple of oils in it. It's got Tanacetum Anum flower oil. It's got a few flower and fruit oils. Ooh, fruit. And none of them are highlighted, so they are EWG safe. So we can go ahead with it. The first ingredient is water. Panthenol, which is vitamin B5. Why? Like what? It smells like a sterile hospital room. Oh my. Tell me if I'm right. Ah, all of their skincare smells like that. Yeah? Yeah, their creams and everything smells exactly like this. This one's a little sticky. Yeah, it is, hey. I haven't actually tried this. So I was looking forward to trying it because I really like Real Barrier's like creams and toners. I haven't tried it. It's not a pass for me. Yeah, this is actually like the classic, I don't want to say because usually the Real Barrier's products are really nice, but this one's like the classic sticky, I don't like this kind of sticky on my skincare kind of sticky. Dun, dun, dun. Next one, one of the most popular moisture serums, the Pyongyang Moisture Serum. So just before we started filming, um, just to kind of make sure that he's on the same page as me in terms of what's sticky and not, we tried one and we picked this one and he was about to die from the smell, which is very strange because it doesn't contain artificial fragrance, but strangely, this one does have a little bit of a stronger smell of ingredients, like the raw ingredients than other products. I'm usually fine with it, but friend over here Who knows, maybe I got was literally it gagging. It was pretty bad at first. Okay, let's go. It's past the ingredients test. This one's milky, I just realized. All the other ones are really yeah. clear. This one's... Like That's actually why I started talking about this in my videos like five years ago. That's not sticky at all. Like I don't even need to like watch you. It's gonna pass. So it's I'll like just lotion. move on. It's like water <laughs> lotion. Unique Beta Glucan Power Moisture Serum has no ingredients list. Ingredients, so I'm just finding it. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> he can't stand oh. the Pyongyang smell. I don't know how to describe it better than... Than what? Play-Doh. And I really hate the smell of Play-Doh. Why? I don't know. Childhood trauma maybe? I don't know. JP's weird. That is he not likes false. the smell of chlorine. <laughs> oh. Okay, I'm, I need to stop smelling. <laughs> there must be something in there. This one's one of the best ate. though, when it comes to stickiness, uh -huh. I think. Yeah. So, but you know what? Because it's so not sticky, it actually doesn't provide that much moisture. To be honest, I think some of these, even though they're sticky, they will probably provide more uh, moisture. Yeah. But yeah. Okay. Next up is the Beta Glucan Power Moisture Serum by, I don't even know how to say it in the right way. I've always said Unique. Because in English, it looks like unique, right? It's iUnique. Oh. Okay, so this one has six ingredients in it. We're going to go ahead and check it out. Actually, I put this one in, I think, myself. Yeah, I did. Mm -hmm. So while we're at it, we're also going to test this other one that I've added in, the iUnique Noni Light Oil Serum, which also has... No bad ingredients in it. It's got Morinda fruit extract, 42%. Yes, fruit extract, let's go. <laughs> it has some extracts in there that I think you'll like. It'll make this smell nice. Are you testing them both at the same time? Mm -hmm. One hand each. Well, this one's more watery than the other one, surprisingly, even though it looks creamy. This one looked creamy? This one's creamy. Um, yeah, this one's like super light. Yeah. It's a noni light oil serum. They're both quite similar. Mm, are they sticky? Mm. Nope. Okay, yep. So it's pass. like satin on your skin. Pass. Pass. So, next up, we have three from Style Korean's best-selling top 
serums and it is the beauty of Chosan. Glow serum, repair serum and calming serum. Hey, these are pretty good in terms of ingredients. They don't have water as the first ingredient. So let's have a look at the list. Has camellia leaf water as the first ingredient. So this one should smell like green tea, I'm assuming. Green tea? Because it says green tea. Does it? Maybe nope. camellia sinus. I do not smell any green tea, so. Are you still green on one awesome? is very smooth, no sticky. Okay. Next is Next. repair serum ginseng snail mucin. <laughs> it's JP's first snail product ever. Guess how they get the snail mucin. Is it mucin or mucin? I don't know. Guess where they get it from. How they get it. I they think squeeze the snail. What I heard I is they know. have like this wall uh -huh. of like snails to just slime all over. Uh -huh. And they like oh, extract they just, the oh, slime. Oh, so from it's it. like a wall where they just all do their thing. Yeah. And then you just collect it. Must be. Why don't you just have a pet snail and just put it on your face while you sleep? <laughs> it's like natural skincare. Yeah, you should definitely do that. Should I run a salon where I just have snails <laughs> put on your face? <laughs> Does it smell like snails? Nope, it smells like ginseng. Okay, yeah, so ginseng is the first ingredient in this one. And then it has the snail secretion filtrate, cocoa seed extract, hyaluronic acid, and licorice root extract, and some fruit extract. Licorice? Yeah. Ooh. Nice cinnamide. That sounds like it'll be very moisturizing. It is very moisturizing indeed, and not sticky so far. Not sticky? Okay, pass. So these two are fine. I can't test it though. It has propolis in it, right? Oh, that's too bad, Jen. How Good thing I'm here. Home to test it. Okay, this one is Glow Serum, and this has propolis extract as the first ingredient. All right, let's glow it up, JP. Mm -hmm. It's also got turmeric root extract. Isn't turmeric the what they put in mm. Indian food? Yeah, it's really good for you, for your skin as well. Really? Mm. Oh, this one's thicker than the other ones, I think. But it's smooth. Pass. Pass? All of them pass? Pass. All three pass. And that's very good. Next is the Neogen Real Vita C Serum, which is something I have also injected in here. Looks like that. This might smell nice. Oh, it has lemon in it. Oh, guys. Why? I love this smell. Are you being sarcastic? Wait a second. <laughs> Why did it change so much? No! It was so pleasant at first. What? Wait. Yeah, what the? Is my hand weird? JP's forgetting that he's meant to be sticking to texture test and he's gone into the I mean, fragrance texture's test. I mean, texture's fine. Texture's fine. So far. <laughs> Is it? Hmm. Whoa. I've never <laughs> smelled this like this on purpose. It smells kind of funny. Does this smell different on my hand? Yeah, this smells pretty weird, huh? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how does it smell on your hand? Not like yours. This is like, what are you talking about? <laughs> it's the same. <laughs> no, it smells really bad on yours. No, it's the same. Okay, but okay, this is not a fragrance test, so... It's not a fragrance test, but it's... Okay, it's, it's not... It's probably the it, vitamin okay, C in it that smells funny. like this. It passes. Yeah, it smells funny, huh? I, that is a weird smell. Okay, finished! Woohoo! Finito! Party time! Like 10 hours later. <laughs> These are our past products. We have quite a lot here. 24. And I'm gonna have to go and take them home and test them out and see which ones are my top, top 10 favorites that I would recommend for dry skin in the winter seasons. Something that's really hydrating or moisturizing and helps your skin to stay that way for as long as possible without the stickiness. Um, they have good ingredients and over here um, are the ones that failed whether they had a bit of bad ingredients in them or were sticky thank you jp so much for helping anytime this noob can help anyone <laughs> okay let's um if a noob replay can help that you. next time when we yeah. need it <laughs> okay a lot of these are actually on my vanity table at home already but yeah i'm gonna test them out find out the top 10 and show you guys next week in our top 10 episode Yay! Thanks for having us. I mean, thanks for watching today. Thanks for joining us. If <laughs> thanks you for enjoyed having it. us. <laughs> it's been a long day. All right, guys, if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up button and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, because that kind of stuff really helps the channel out. And uh, leave a comment down below what you think we should review next. What should this noob learn about next? We do like alternate weeks, mm -hmm. makeup, skincare, makeup, skincare. So this one was skincare. So if you have something for makeup, please let us know. Honestly, sky's the limit. We yep. can do almost anything. Let us know. Like, yeah. Thank you for joining us. And we'll see you guys all in our next What A Noob. Bye.